Good morning, how you guys doing? It's Mike back to the daughter today on May 25th, 2023. First, I want to give honor and praise to Elohim of Israel for waking me up today and giving me the strength to bring you this message and the wisdom. Next, I'd like to open with the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. May God will not mind be done. Today I want to talk about former mu music mogul, Dame Dash. Former music mogul, mogul Dame Dash. Um, I just seen a recent video with him on the Mav Hoffa podcast when I be in a barbershop and it was disturbing to me. First, I would like to talk about this is a guy that I seen him start from the beginning and grow and he's well respected. His hustle, his entrepreneurship has been through the roof. He started The Rock with Jay-Z, held it down, built the empire talked about all of the ways that dudes needed to hustle, needed to have their own. Matter of fact, a few of the songs on Jay-Z 444 album definitely was inspired by his thoughts. So while people was giving Jay this credit for being this this brilliant entrepreneur mindset, that Dame Dash was talking about that stuff years ago. He challenged the industry with having brothers get their own things. The only dude that I saw that was the heart to go head to head and challenge Lil Cohen on ethics and the stuff that he was doing. Made movies, TV shows, was building his own network, TV network, in the art. The brother is brilliant. But when I saw him on that show, I could see the brother crying out for help. He was very intox so intoxicated that he almost fell out the tape fell out the chair a couple times, man. Brother needs some help, man. I seen him on um the Drink Champs when he smoked and drank Nori under the table. Seen him on Shannon Sharp's podcast where he had about fifteen drinks. Now I see him on this thing and the seeing a brother alleviated and going in this direction it truly hurts me because it takes one to know one I know me when I see me so this is no judgment on the brother because I've been there and if I was a real friend of his or I could get in contact with him I wouldn't be even making this video I would call him directly and tell him that his slip is showing right now so any of these famous guys out there that that have a, a contact with him or know him. Right now, the brother's crying out for help, man. Put a bug in his ear for for him to go get some help, man. Because that disease is cunning, baffling, and powerful. And what alcohol do, it gives you a false sense of pride and a false sense of reality. And I'm watching the brother just wilt away on each podcast he, that I've seen him on. It seems like he's getting more and more alleviated, man. So if somebody has a line to this brother, please talk to him. And I know people are going to say, uh, just because you in recovery, you think everybody should be. Nah, I just know me when I see me. The same way I knew how to analyze a basketball player, if I see somebody that has the characteristics that needs some help, I'm going to mention it. And we got to start wanting better health and better mental health for our brothers, man. It's, it's, it's no hate to pull a brother to the side or, or mention a brother that a brother needs some help, man. And right now that brother's crying out. I hope somebody with some influence sees this video and can, can get the brother the help that he needs because right now he definitely needs some help. This brother, Mike. And... Brother Mike, 
Peace. Shalom. Enjoy the rest of your day.